Hi, in today's speech I'm going to be talking about the 2012 Chicago teacher strike. First off, I am going to give some background information. According to my survey of the audience today, they didn't know they didn't have too much information about the strike and or about how uh, the public school Chicago public school system goes about paying and evaluating its teachers. First off, Chicago Public Schools is the third largest public school system in the country with 350,000 students, so it's, it's really big. And why the teachers were upset and why the whole strike started in the first place is because they were upset with the evaluations that, had, that were being performed on them because according to them that the student performance is directly linked to home conditions and this to them and that makes it unfair then for the teachers to be punished for what the students have at home with their conditions because most of them are, are live in poverty or worse conditions than that also they say that the teachers are upset with the school day wanting to be wanting to be longer the elementary they want it, the Chicago public school system wants to increase the elementary school days to 70, so increase it by 75 minutes so that will bring it to a total of 7 hours and the high school an extra 30 minutes which would bring the total to 7 hours and 30 minutes. They don't want this and also they want to lengthen the school year from 170 days to at least the state minimum in Illinois which is 176. Now the union doesn't want doesn't want this because they don't they're not they want to get paid more if they do it but this public school system does not want to bring that in but if the Chicago public school systems went through with this especially with the evaluations just the evaluations alone could cost them 6,000 jobs because the students aren't doing as, as well Chicago public schools is, is nationally is is lowered all their all their standards and all their, all their students are, they do worse than the national average. Also, uh, why the Chicago Teachers Union, uh, why, they're, why they're in trouble is because Mayor Rahm Emanuel wants to take them to court because he says it's, it is against the law for the union, for the Chicago Teachers Union to go on strike for non-economic reasons. And then what, so that was that's why the that's why it started in the first place. That's the history of it, and now I'm going to tell how they what the deal was and and how they resolved the issue for now at least. Uh, they decided to at least suspend the strike, so there was no strike, no more striking, and that's this happened after seven days. So the school the kids lost seven days of schooling, but now the deal is they're going to keep the 170 school days a year but they are going to extend the school day by the by the specified lengths that they already had and the principals are going to get uh have more freedom with their ability of hiring and uh firing they could they'll have a, a choice candidates especially for the hiring they'll have more freedom with that and <clears throat> the, they'll be able to they're reforming the teacher evaluation so that it's more based on not just the kids just doing so poorly so that they won't lose as many teachers, it will root out more of the teachers that are just doing bad and not just poorly because of the students. And the pay was increased, even though the, despite Chicago Public Schools has one of the large, has the, more of the higher gross income uh, paid teachers, even though they have that, they're going to get a 17.6% increase in their pay over the next three years, that's how long the contract was signed for. And according to my audience, they think that the teachers did have a, have a reason to strike. I think that they did have a reason to strike for the evaluations, but not for getting for the pay increase. I, I believe that since they already had, they get so much more money that I think that was wrong. Um, and also the, the students did suffer by not having those seven days and the teachers going on strike. That was very detrimental to them. And I, I had also explained how the strike was resolved because my audience today uh, did not know as much. So that is, that's what happened with the 2012 Chicago teacher strike.